Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to talk about how to generate correlation matrix in RapidMind. So for this, I will have to go on the canvas. This is a canvas for processes. I will load the data set from here. So let me try to figure out my data set that is customers churn data. I'll simply drag it and drop it here. Now I'll search for a correlation operator. I'll just simply write down search in search correlation. So there are a range of operators which are available. So I'll simply drag this correlation matrix here. I'll connect this out window with the example. Now there are many connections which are there in this particular operator. The first one is an example. If I connect this example, it will only generate the original data set. You can see, right? But if I want to get the output, there is a second node which is here and it is saying that it is a correlation matrix node. So when I'll connect this, you can see it generates the correlation between different variables. I again go back. Now say for example, this is a very small process which you have made and you want to use it for another data set also. So how to save processes? I'll go in file, save processes local repository in my previous video i have already explained that the data is to be stored in the data node and the processes are to be stored here you will activate here and you will give the name now what will happen by saving this way let's say for example you have saved this process as correlation now if i remove this from here and now i directly go into the processes once they are saved and when I activate this, you can see, I'll directly get the correlation matrix or the core or the process which I have saved it earlier, right? This is another example, but I'm trying to say that if you have saved something here, the process will be loaded directly from this tab. For more videos on RapidMiner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you.